<laughs> I never thought you were going to have a pick. What? Come on, don't give me that look like I am saying something I shouldn't be saying. I've watched you since you clocked 13. <laughs> and as a teenager, but I cannot but witness how different women flock around you. <laughs> You've had uh, a whole seal of them since you grew up into this fantastic and uh, handsome young man. <laughs> you know I am saying the truth. And uh, you should pay me for the wonderful gene. <laughs> As if you paid your dad. <laughs> <laughs> My father wasn't as cute as me. Oh. Honestly, I do after my grandfather. I see. <laughs> anyway, cheers. Cheers, Dad. <laughs> well, I don't even know the young lady you're getting married to. Who is she? Dad, you have met her. I've met different women. Slim and cute. Fat and uh, curvy. <laughs> Short and tall. <laughs> Name them. Have I met her? Yes, Dad. You have. I have a picture. Omo is her name. Omo is a very smart, intelligent, strong and beautiful woman. Mm. She has an amazing smile. And trust me, no woman has ever made me feel the way I feel about her. <laughs> yes, Dad. <laughs> That's my son. <laughs> I love her, Dad. Ah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mom, thank God she's here. You invited her? Yes, I'm sorry I didn't tell you. I asked her to come. She must not step her foot into this house. Are you sure you want to do this? Sure. Faya, you are married. Marriage is a lifetime commitment. And who says I am not ready for a lifetime commitment? <laughs> Momo, you do not understand. Forget the glee and glamour. The make-believe perfect marriage. Forget it all. Ma marriage is... Marriage is hard. Marriage is tough. Marriage is, is work. Most of all, marriage is a prison. I can't believe you're doing this. Dad, you didn't have to do that. You don't have the right to tell me what to do in my house. For huh? God's sake, she's my mother, my ex-wife, divorced and forgotten forever. You know, you still haven't told me the reason why you threw mom out of this house. Well, I don't want to tell you now until when... Really? And when is that time going to be? I am getting married and you don't think I deserve to know what happened between you and my mother? You know what? I am leaving. If you think I am not mad enough, then what am I doing here? Wait, Jesse. Sit. Sit. I really don't understand what you're talking about. I don't mean to discourage you. More than anything, I want you to experience the joy of motherhood. But you see, I am not, I am not enjoying my marriage with your cousin, Kester. Look, son. I can trace the success or failure of my life to something I did or I did not decide effectively. Especially developing relationship as a young man. Yes. 
I could have said no, even when the signs were obvious. That I, I don't understand. Life is like driving on a highway. At a point, you know when to start, stop, and turn. Son, I have found the direct correlation between my present state in life and the decision I made. I was, I still am, a victor or perhaps a victim of my own making, achieving or failing because I did not take in the advices I was offered. And the decisions he made, how could he do such a thing without thinking of the effect on our lives, my life? And, uh, and the kids, ow! Oh. <laughs> Your cousin is for leaving hell in that house, and I want out. I think. I think I'm in that marriage for the wrong reasons. How? The kids. They are the reasons I'm still in that, in that shared space called marriage. And I, 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 I don't know how long I can keep up. I don't know how long I can, I can stay. Omo. There are some decisions you have to make about your relationship. Considerations whether you want to go in like you want to. These are the decisions you have to make that will alter the course of your life. Are you sure you truly want to do this? Because I never wanted you to know. Look, I had to carry out a paternity test to be sure you were my son. Well, it turned out you were actually my seed and we parted ways. We parted ways. I am sorry you had this kept away from you. But infidelity is something I can never forgive, especially when it's coming from the two persons I trusted most. But that it's over two decades. It is like yesterday. The memories of walking into that room and finding your mother in the arms of my friend, my colleague, is still fresh. That picture is as perfect at this moment. You can forgive her. It's a choice. We all have to make choices or take decisions at a point in our lives. <laughs> Son, trust me. The decisions and the choices are not in as you see them in the movies. That turns out to be a happy ending. This is not to say that won't be the case for you. Look, son, there is more gratifying than a relationship with someone you love and trust, with whom you can share your innermost thoughts and feelings. These advices were given to me, but I did not listen. What's up, Jesse? Alpha. Oh. Ah. Hey, uh, how you doing? I'm doing good. I trust you're good. Yeah, 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 I'm fine. I tried reaching you since yesterday to no avail. Oh, um, about that, I was in my dad's house. It seems I've been wrong about him this whole time. Hmm. Anyways, how is Faye and the kids? Well, as for my kids, they're doing great. As for Faye, now herself, she go kill, not me, right? You see, sometimes I regret ever getting married. Really? Um, s please, same bottle. Uh, you see, you Jesse, eh? Count yourself lucky. In fact, you're blessed. You see my cousin Omo. 
She's the best woman you can ever think of having. In fact, you got it right. Believe me. <laughs> you know, that was the same thing you said four years ago when you were head over heels in love with her. Well, you see this marriage? It's luck. As for me, I have been scammed. <laughs> you like, so? scammed. You think so? My brother, <laughs> I have been scammed. Ah! <laughs> I just feel like being alone all my life is no longer favorable. You can't be alone when you have me now. My brother didn't... <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, man. Cheers, Oludo. <laughs> Cheers. It's fucked up, man. So tell me. Is Jesse what the weight? Mom, mm. Jesse is everything I prayed for. <laughs> Look, Mom, I know ending the relationship with Dave, Dad, but trust me. I have never been this happy. Mm. Jess is magical. He's caring, loving, understanding, and most of all, he listens to me and he supports me. God, I can't tell you how much I pray for him. And God gave me the best. <laughs> Have you been listening to our conversation? Well, I think it's about time I get to meet face to face the man that's about to take away my joy. <laughs> Ask your brother, Kester, to come with him. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Talking about Kester, I haven't seen him for months. What's yeah. wrong with him? Um, I was with him last week, yeah. Okay. And the Wi-Fi? I was with her a few days ago. Okay. Um, Mom, I think Kesta is having issues with Faye because she's talking about walking out of the marriage. What? Are you for real? What's happened? I don't know. I think it's best you ask him when he comes around. Oh my God. Oh my God. Kester, you haven't been home in ages. Um, I've been very busy now. Too busy to come and see your family? I didn't train you like that. So how is uh, Faye and the kids? Uh, well, my kids are doing great. And Faye? Is there something you're not telling me, Kester? All right, we'll discuss that some other time. Are you Mr. Jesse... Obilo. Jesse Obilo, sir. You swept my daughter off her feet. <laughs> How did you do that? Because I know my daughter is a handful, though not... Yes, I know, sir. So, tell me, how did you meet? Well, um, I met your daughter at an eatery. She was sitting all by herself. I did not know, but then when I turned, I saw her sitting there. Then I heard a little voice say to me that that is my wife sitting there. I then walked up to her and asked her to share her table. We talked and talked as if we've known each other for a long time. Hmm. She didn't say much, but I knew she was going through a tough time. And the history. You, you, you swept my daughter off her feet, the apple of my eyes, and the rest is history. You must tell me, tell me, tell me, 
Um, how did you do it? Well, I, I'm going to ask her her own version, but I want to hear from you. Well, um, we bumped into each other a few times, um, but then it looked like <laughs> I was stalking her. That was when she started asking questions. Then what's next? I don't understand. Really? You think I don't know what you want? See, all you men ever want is to take a woman to bed because you want a body. To take her to bed and then move on to the next person because you see women as some, as some object you can use to satisfy your sexual appetite. What do you want from me? You know what? Just pack. I want to step down. Please pack. I want to go out. I said pack! Yeah, I'm, I'm packing. I want your heart. I really do. I want to change your surname. I want you to be the mother of my kids. Is that too much to ask? Tell me, is that your definition of love? Omo, I don't know what you want me to say. But I think you are, you are pushing him away. It's time you gave him a chance. But I'm not sure what he wants from me. But I asked him today. He said he wants my heart. And he wants me to bear his children. Aha! Uh -huh. I mean, this calls for celebration. I think you need to give him a chance. Or, or what do you think? After what they did to me, and please, don't talk about the past. Look, it's time you move on with your life, all right? You cannot keep your life on hold simply because some guy who felt he wasn't good enough for you. I'm scared. It's perfectly okay to be scared. Yes. I don't know about this Jess guy, but something about him. And I'm sure he will make a great husband. Unlike your brother. Okay, let's look at it this way. He's good looking, huh? I know. He's got a great job. He has a house of his own. Girlfriend, what are you waiting for? That is what every woman wants. You should talk to him. Talk to him. Mm-hmm. Talk to him. I know you like him. Look at your face. <laughs> <Stop. Stop. laughs> if I tell you I'm not surprised now, I'll be lying, honestly. Trust me, I did not know Omo is your cousin. She's my sister. <laughs> her father raised me when my parents died. So practically, her parents is my parents. Well, <laughs> that's good for me. Like, guy, come on. Listen, I really like this girl. I, I want to wife her. Oh, okay, then. If you want to wife her, then, you know. Have you run short of all those sweet, juicy pickup lines? <laughs> <laughs> you can do better than that. Come on, yes. man. You're talking to Jesse. No, the thing is, eh? I just want you to arrange for a meet. Uh, look at you, you're asking me to arrange a meeting for you and my sister? Come on, listen to yourself. Well, I'm even trying to consider that because of the kind of a guy you are, right? Please. Oh, well, I will try, I will try, you know. Like yes, I so. I will try. All right, <laughs> Jesse. I'll see you, see you right, tomorrow. Man. All okay. right, bro. Take care. Yes, I'm coming. Hey, guess. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, sorry, this way. You're welcome to my humble apartment. What can I offer you? Uh, it's all right. I know what she wants. Oh, sure. <laughs> it's okay. I'm coming, all right? Pardon my manners. Make yourself comfortable. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, sorry. One second, yeah? Right. 
Jesse, what's up? Ah, what's that? Why you don't tell me say to come with the I wanted it to be a surprise. What kind of surprise is that? You should have told me so at least I will look nice. Ah, how do you want to look again? You're already looking good. Come on. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. You should have told me. I want to. Let us Come on, come on. Be yourself. Be yourself, bro. You should you change? Yeah, be Are yourself. Sure? Be yourself. Okay, okay. Give us something to drink. Yeah. I'll get it right away. Yeah. Please do that. And let me just do so. I'm coming down. Don't worry. All right. <laughs> Daisy, Daisy. This guy is so crazy. <laughs> He's sick. You see? This is the reason why I cannot give my heart to any man until I'm sure he really loves me and can go overboard for me. Really? Yes. If this is what she gets in return, why love if it's going to hurt so much? Um, sorry, guys. He's fine. I have to tell you, come. I'm coming, all right? Okay. Yeah, hello. You know, to love is the greatest thing there is. Excuse me? You said, why love if it's going to hurt so much? And what difference does it make if, in the end, it's going to be thrown back at your face? Well, it depends. I mean... You know... To love is the hardest decision anyone can make in life. The same way I think is the easiest. How could you say easiest? <laughs> like, how, how do you even know it? Come on. I am 32 years. What do you expect? I have been in love. My heart has been broken by people I love and trusted so much. Yes, it did not work, but it still doesn't change the fact that to love is the easiest decision anyone can make. I guess that's the cost of love. <laughs> Honey, you can't buy you went through was the cause. You know, to love that way comes with a price. The decision to commit, to remain faithful, to serve and to... And to forgive. That is where most people get it wrong. To learn to forgive is the price you pay that sets you free and not just the other person. <laughs> well, I'm a lady, so what do you expect? Anyways, let me rephrase. Um, how many people are willing to pay. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I can only speak for myself. What is it going to cost me? It depends. Is that why you don't want to give any man a chance? All like you, the decision to love got harder as I grew older. And why is that? Because I hate letting my guards down and not having the love reciprocated. Is that why you're more cynical about trusting other people? They say risks I do not want to take again. It looks like you have reduced your fate to loneliness, and that is everyone's nightmare. Who says I'm lonely? And the nightmare thing, that's your prerogative. I don't see it as that. Well, I see it as that. Because everyone needs that someone to share the events of their day with. And I want that someone to be you. From the very first day I saw you, I fell in love with you. You have placed my world in a standstill and I don't know how you did that. How did you do it? I did everything on my knees. How? Well, two years ago, I prayed to God to give me or moment. So that day when I saw Omo and I heard that tiny little voice tell me, that is your wife, I knew I had right. I never intended to break her defenses because I never knew she had built any. All I wanted to do was to find my missing rib. With the help of her brother? Oh, no, 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 no. Um, Kesta here is my friend. I never knew they were related in any way. But it helped me uh, a little bit. 
uh, how is the little bit? Uh, just a tiny little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Gentlemen, I didn't know we had spoken for so long. Yeah. I have a meeting to go and attend. Um, we are going to have another of this meeting. Um, I want to see you and Omo this okay. weekend. Okay. Be nice. Yes. All right. All right. So, enjoy your stay. Kesta, we have an unfinished discussion. I have to go and get something done. Thank you, sir. Mm. So my dad asked you all that? <laughs> you, you have no idea. That man wanted details. <laughs> <laughs> so were you a bit telling that? Not when he thinks Kesta is the brain behind all these. Ah, but that's not true. Well, the good thing is he wants to see us this weekend. That's true. He told me the same thing, yeah? Man, your dad is a lot. He's a teacher, a counselor, you name it. <laughs> and also my father. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. I hate you. <laughs> no, you don't mean that. Stop. You don't Why are you going to do that? Stop. <laughs> So, Mr. Obilo, what do you see when you see my little girl? My sweetheart. <laughs> and you? My answer. Right. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you do not just see the face of your sweetie pie, but also the face that will uh, grow alongside yours for the rest of your lives. That's the face that will wake up beside you for the rest of your lives. You know, I tell intending couples always that this is the face that will age alongside yours. The face that you'll have to turn to when the vicissitudes of life hit very hard and when the world is cold and Omo, you know, as a warrior chooses his weapon, well, of course, as a, an artist chooses her medium, so also you have chosen Jesse as your partner. It therefore becomes imperative for both of you to understand and appreciate the fact that each other's weapon of choice when you're fighting layoffs, mountain builds, insurmountable pressure, and unimaginable challenge. Um, Omo, you're my jewel. But I want you to know that this young man here that will be by your side, if and when the pains of labor cost through your body and you bet children together. This is the face you will see one or the other of you succumb to the aches and pain of disease and, in and it becomes necessary to bury one or the other prematurely. That is the hands you have to squeeze when I or your mother pass through the earth and you have to lay us into the earth. Because that is the face that will comfort you. Hmm. For the first time in your life, you're beginning to glimpse what some never understood until it was too late. The certainty of unpredictable scenarios in future. But then, of course, you need to know the truth. My daughter, of a certainty, one day soon, I'll be laid in the head. But while it is still time, 
I want my little girl to know that marriage is not just a ring. Yeah, that's right. It's, it's, it's not just own of compatible um, chemistry. It's deeper than that. It's not just mere shared ideas and fantasy. Where are you going to? Babe, please. I am tired. I just need to go out there to get something to eat. So who's going to eat the food I made for you? You and I know I don't like pasta. I told you I want to eat food. Fufu and vegetable soup. Why am I seeing pasta on the dining? You always do this. Feed me with what you like. Look, you cannot reject my food. You cannot reject my food. You better come and eat that food. Who's going to eat it? I'm talking to you. So who's going to eat the food? Jesse! Jesse! So <laughs> you how am I harassing you huh look at my thing standing so hard I want to enter you don't want me to enter what is it oh you don't want to perform your right as a wife Abby? huh what is it it's not as if I'm killing you I'm not killing anybody here I'm just asking for what is right listen this is not the wife I married then go and look for her Go and look for her and leave me alone. Nonsense. I should go and look for her. Yes, go and look for her. You will give me this thing today. You, you will give me this thing today. Look, 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 look. 
So they will die as a Mm. Nice table. You know, Kesta, I never saw this coming. I thought as adults, we are supposed to be able to talk things out. Rather than throw shades and dredge up <laughs> My brother, you see women, honestly, huh? You know, those creatures called women. If I have to say, I would say they are horrible creatures. You know, you don't get to understand them in a hurry. But Faye is not like that. Faye? Says who? Come on, Jesse, I updated you on every issue we had. If not for dad and the family that came in, our marriage would have been history by now. Man. She talks to me. She belittles me with every chance she gets. I think her father was right when he said that love is not enough when it comes to marriage. Oh, yes. Dad was right. Love is never enough, you know. It's this word called passion. You need an overdose of it. Oh, I sure Believe do. me. I sure Believe do. Me. Trust me. Overdose uh -huh. of it. I think I do. Let's, Let's play. Let's play the game, man. Fine table anyways. Free ball. I know I'm going to win you. <laughs> Stripe or spots. Okay. Free ball. I hear a lot of stories. I hear a lot of stories. Like love is a bed of How roses. How but it takes just more than wishes to make it come true. To make it come true. Omo, you didn't cook anything. Nope. Because I didn't want to cook something that would be rejected. But don't I have a say in this house? In of course you do. You can go to the kitchen to bake something for yourself or you go out to get it. Babe. Oh, 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 now it's now babe. No longer Omo. Please. I am tired. I had a tedious day at work today. I need my sanity back, please. You don't have to be like this every time. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Keep it up. You two keep it. Good afternoon, sir. My dear, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Great, great, great. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How is my daughter? Well, um, she's actually the reason I'm here. Sit down. Okay. Sit down. Yes. I hear a lot of stories. I hear a lot of stories. Like love is a bed of roses. But it takes just more than wishes to make it come. To hey, babe. You're back. How could you? Run into my parents' place to tell them about our marriage. What were you expecting? So they can get through to you because anything I say falls on deaf ears. Oh, really? Yes, look at you. Acting up possessed, so I thought of... You thought what? Be off? Must it always be about you? You're always talking, but you never listen. Oh, you know if you had something important to say, I'll listen. But all you want to do is complain and whine like a baby. Jeez. How would you feel if I go over to your dad's place and start complaining about every little thing you do? Babes, all I want is to have a normal conversation with my wife and not to get into a screaming match with you every time. Stop blow what's it to you. Oh, just, just look at that. Look at that. She did it again. I lost my appetite. Oh no! Babe? Babe? Oh, thank goodness you're here. I realize you move your things from the room. Why? What do you want? Babe, I don't like the way you make issues out of nothing. Huh? Okay. Uh, what are you doing? I'm moving them back to our room. No, no, leave my things here. What's your listen, problem? If I am to lay my hands to cast that demon that has entered you. I'll... Now you're calling me a demon. Am I a demon, Abby? Okay, now come and carry me to your room. Now I will not come back to your room. Nonsense. Yeah, hurry, ah! Stop with your little room. You don't want me to carry you. Huh? I'm waiting for you in that room. Do you hear me? I'm not going anywhere.
Can we talk? Not now. I'm a bit busy here. But you're just sitting down doing nothing. You always do this. Why do you brush me off anytime I want to talk to you? When are you going to listen to me? Here we go again. Always making a big deal out of nothing. Don't you ever get tired. What do you want from me? I want to be the perfect husband, but you make life so difficult. Oh, so I make your life difficult. Whenever I ever ask you to do something you don't want to do, you're always the one going out of your way to do things I didn't ask you to do. But that is what every husband does for the wife. But you, you are just an ingrate who will not let go of the hurt from my last relationship. How dare you! I give you everything. I empty myself for you and what do I get in return? You take everything for granted. I love you, but you're so damn impossible! No, 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 don't you dare it is on me. It is not my fault that you can't love me the way I want to be loved. Maybe you're just like your father. And that is why your mother cheated on you. Are you cheating on me? I will never do that because I respect my father. Unlike your mother. You listen to me. Keep my mother's name out of your mouth. You hear me? She has her flaws and at least she doesn't drive my father crazy. Every night I didn't want to come home. You know why? Because you're so... How did you even get like this? Yo, your parents are such amazing people. Why did the apple fall very far from the tree with you? Maybe you are the cause. Maybe you... You bring out the worst in me. No. You were just a broken glass trying to fix. I hear a lot of stories. Like love is a bed of roses. But it takes just more than wishes to make it come true. To Babe. make it come true. When it comes to reality, it's not the same like you see in movies. It's gonna take just more than magic if the feeling is true. I am so sorry for what I said earlier on. You know I love you more than anything in this world. I know you love me. And I love you too. But I think we need some time apart. I don't understand. I'm going to my dad's place. What? This is like the fifth time I'm hearing your different sides of the story. And each time I notice that you're going in different directions. It's not been long. I asked both of you, what exactly do you see when you look into each other's eyes? All right. Um, I want both of you write on that paper exactly what you think is missing in your marriage. Everything you think is missing in your marriage, please write.
See his opinion. See her opinion. <laughs> Are you serious? This is outrageous. You're the one who has denied me sex, intimate connection and intimate moments, and you write this about me? I have showed you love and affection, and what did I get in return? You threw it back in my face. You know, the most difficult thing a man can give in marriage, when the excitement and passion has whittled out into something less explosive, is undiluted love. You know, marriage changes people. Marriage just does change people. When the euphoria of the excitement is gone, when there's nothing left of the initial fantasy, you find yourself faced with reality. So I ask both of you for the last time, what do you... Can I speak first? Yes. Sir, I just want my wife back. That's it. Okay. And you? I want out of this marriage. I need my freedom. What? Is that really what you want? Yes. Omo, we can... I'm sorry. I need my freedom. Well, it looks like your mind is made up, Omo. Yes. I can't um, change your mind. So, all I can say is, <laughs> you are always welcome back home. Thank you, Dad. Honestly, I'm in shock. And to think dad didn't talk her out of it is what baffles me. I knew how hard he fought for fire and eye to patch up things. And now we're in Just that I gave her everything. I, I gave her everything. Every single thing. I gave her everything. It's okay, bro. All right. But take it easy on yourself, all right? Stop beating yourself up. Please. You see, I, I believe that a mom is going to talk to her. Are you sure this is what you really want, my dear? Having someone to rely on. To have your back through life's ups and downs is one of God's greatest gifts. Tough. But you'll think through it, my dear. You will. Hmm? Oh. Yes. I don't want to go on with this marriage. Sweetheart. Marriage is filled with challenges and in the mix of these challenges times make mistakes that are costly decision that can alter our very lives do you hear me i want you to know that one wrong decision you make can sentence you and your family a time of heartbreak. Hmm? Sweetheart, do you understand what I'm saying? Yes.
Come in. Oh, how are you doing? We finally came over. Well, your husband, um, rather Jesse, practically dragged me to this place. You see, Amor, I don't know what it is that is going through your mind. But whatever it is, I want you to give it a second thought. Jesse loves you so much. I believe both of you have to sort things out. Are you done? Really? Please. Please, I do not want to see him. I mean, we're literally like cat and dog in that marriage. You see, Omar, they say life is half spent until you know what it is. And you see, whatever an adult sees while sitting down, a child can never see that while standing. You see, Fire and I had similar issues. You came in, we found out that we lack communication, which both of us you know, sorted it out, and today we are happy together. So I believe you should sort things out too. Give it a thought. Excuse me. So, how have you been? This is me, sir. Just missing. Hey, how are you? It's me, Uncle. Hey, babe. What are you doing here? To get my wife and nothing more. So you can torment and make issues out of nothing as usual? Why are you sounding like I do all these things you're saying? You're the one who has denied me love and even sex. And why are you so insensitive? Why must you make everything about you? I'm sorry. Look, my mind is made up. This past few years with you in that house has been one hell of an experience. You have choked me. You have taken away my freedom. And when I talk, it looks like Omo nags a lot. Don't touch me. This whole marriage thing has, has been a big mistake that I must correct. And please, stop trying to think there's hope of you and I coming back. But babes, you and I are meant to be best friends, not just husband and wife. Unfortunately, it turned out we're just familiar strangers in that charade and shared space called marriage. Excuse me. Babe. I hear a lot of stories Like love is a bed of roses But it takes just more than wishes To make it come true To make it Let's come be. true Let's have it When it comes to reality It's not the same like you see in movies It's gonna take just more than magic If the feeling is true Does he cheat on you? I mean, because None of you spoke about infidelity, which is the main reason why a lot of marriages crash. So, does he? No. Okay. I you are aware that the decision to divorce is a decision that should be taken seriously. Your lives are going to be affected drastically in ways that both of you have not even imagined or fathomed for years. Listen, daughter, 
I know that you felt neglected by someone you loved and gave your heart to. But is it possible he feels something? Is it possible you owe him something? Love comes out of a man naturally when a woman respects and submits to him. Daughter, we all have our deal breakers. But if you ask me, I am certain you are about to make the greatest mistake of your life. The greatest mistake of your life. A mistake that can be arrested by a single act. Communication. Communi but like I always say, the decision is yours. to make you change your mind. Just tell me and I will do it. Just let me go. Why have you filled your heart with so much respect? Why? I love you and I am sorry. Okay? I am tired of you stonewalling me. It's killing me. I've discussed with my dad. You get the divorce people once they are ready. Mama, it's obvious your mind is made up. But I just want you to know that if you walk out of this gate, I am not going to come looking for you. Not because I hold anything against you, but I want you to find your son's spot again. Please, go. Are you done? Let's go. Baby, baby. Don't please. touch the car. Of stories like love is a bed of roses, but it takes just more than wishes to make it come true. To make it come true when it comes to reality, it's not the same like you see in movies. It's gonna take just more than magic if the feeling is true. If the feeling is true. If this is really gonna work, you gotta know that love is not enough. Are you ready for the scars? I wanna know. Will you still be there when the days turn into nights? When it's dark and no more lights? Will you keep holding my hand? Will you still be there. Even though we've got a fight, we still look in my eyes in the good times and the bad. Yeah. I heard what happened. How have you been? Uh, I'm fine. This whole thing is taking a toll on you. Are you sure this is what you want? I said I'm fine. Where's the waiter? Waiter! Yeah, please come. Can I get a glass? Jesse's not taking this too well. He's been in and out of the hospital. That's his headache. Come on, girlfriend. I was in worse situation. You spoke to me about certain things out with your brother. Everyone talked and I listened. And today we understand each other very well. Don't you think you should take a second chance in your marriage?
fair. You and Kesta did what was best for you guys. I never believed I would one day live with a man in the same house like roommates. Gosh, I can't tell you how that thing almost drained me psychologically and almost put me in a mental home. I was depressed and I almost committed suicide. What? Was it that bad? Yes, it was that serious. And there's no way I'm going to go down that road again. It's okay. Was even the last thing. My mom? No, 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 no. no. So, if you're still wearing the ring, how do you expect to see someone? And why do you still come here? I wear the ring because I don't want to meet anyone else. Mm. Besides, they sell good food here. I see. Mm -hmm. Well, the last time Jesse came to the house, God wears the ring. In fact, Jesse is just. Thank you. Oh my God! See who just moved on. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Look, I'm only trying to explain. Will you try to explain something to you? Hold on now. Why? <laughs> sorry, sorry. But I'm only trying to. Oh, Ma. Ma. Are you okay? Yes, Ma. I'm fine. Okay. I'm just no. having a slight headache. Oh, sorry. Do take your medication, okay? Okay, ma'am. All right. You still miss her, right? Every minute. JC. You still love her? I never stopped loving her. Then why are you staying away from her? Her dad asked me to. You know what they say? Absence makes the... You know, I could sense so much jealousy all over her today. Let me tell you something about women. We ladies, we're really one sort of funny creatures. We love who gives us attention. You know what? Something just popped up in my head and I think you would like it. Really? Okay. Baby. Yeah? Is Jesse seeing another woman? Why are you asking? Nothing. It's just that um, the other day I was with your sister at the eatery and 
he showed up all loved up with um, a lady. She's actually beautiful. I don't know. <laughs> what do you expect him to do? Keep sulking, right? I mean, he's a man. Um, if Omar feels, you know, walking out of the marriage is the best thing for her, then who am I to intervene? But I mean, I wish them luck. And you're okay with it? What do you want me to say? <laughs> she has refused to listen to anyone. Okay? So, if finding happiness in another woman's arm will make all right, Good luck to them. I mean, they should feel free. But she's not happy. That's her own cup of tea. It's not my concern. I mean, issues are supposed to be resolved in marriage. You know, but since, uh, but since she has um, taken the easiest way out, I mean, good luck to her and congrats to my friend. But she's your sister. Uh, and Jesse is my guy. <laughs> I honestly don't understand you. Honestly. Hey, baby, I mean, you should know better than that. Uh, we've walked that lane before, and look at us. We're, we're fine, we're good. I mean, <laughs> uh, well. You should talk to your friend. Hey. I mean, come on, she's not happy. Come I... is the problem, baby. She's not the problem. <laughs> Both of them are the problem. And they can actually work things out. I don't understand. That. Can I see? Yes. <laughs> oh, look at that. They look good together. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Be quiet. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What was the look so cute together? Hey, oh, wow. You are sporting you Right here, look at the cook right there. Yes. 
Lisa, head of the game. Head for Annie, all right? Head of the game. She's a wonderful cook. Yes. Please. So her soup is mad. It's mad, eh? Mad. Mm. No, we know, we know you. Yeah, I saw it. I hear a lot of stories. Like love is a bed of roses. But it takes just more than wishes to make it come true. To make it come true. When it comes to reality, it's not the same like you see in movies. Ah, ah. Omo. Hey. Kilode. You've not stepped out for days now. Everything okay? Eh? Mom, I'm fine. No, you're not. You are not. Well, Kesta was here today. You've heard? You're still hurting. You're still in love with him, isn't it? Hmm. Sweetheart, you just pushed a good man away. Hmm? A very good man. Ah, a man that every woman would desire to have. Yes. Marriage requires hard work. Listen. There is no winning in marriage. It's neither you both win or you both lose. That's it. Look at you. You and together. Why didn't my work like this? I just wish it's like that. <laughs> you wish he's like your dad. <laughs> your father is a perfect image you so admire. Hmm? <laughs> because a woman is there to make her marriage work. Despite everything he put me through, I still love him. I still made the marriage work. Um, I, I don't understand. I thought you and dad... No! <laughs> There's no perfect marriage. There's no marriage on earth that is perfect. Listen, my dear, let me tell you something that you don't know. You need to be patient. You need tolerance. You need selflessness. You need communication. I almost forgot. You need to be truthful. And most importantly, you need to pray. Every prays for her home. They go on their knees and they pray every day. That is the ingredient, my dear. That is just the ingredient that you need. Do you understand me? I thought it has always been perfect. Oh no, no marriage on earth. No marriage is perfect. You need to make it work. My dear, I demon in your father's eyes. 
ready to tear my marriage apart. But I did not allow it. And how did you do it? <laughs> my love. God's love in my heart. It roared louder than those demons. Then I suddenly see God do it for me. Worked it out for me. Yes. Listen, my dear. There are dark moments like this in marriages. We can only appreciate the good moments and push through with an understanding that it won't last forever. Well, you can sit here and watch another woman build up your home that you build. Or you can go back and make things right. You're crying? Don't cry. Bele. Shubo. Bele. Makima. It's okay. It's okay. I hear a lot of stories. Like love is a bed of roses. But it takes just more than wishes to make it come true. To make it come true. When it comes to reality, it's not the same like you see in movies. Hi. Can we go inside and talk, please? If this is really gonna work, you gotta know that love is not enough. Are you ready for the scars? I wanna know. Will you still be there when the days turn into nights? When it's dark and no more light? Will you keep holding my hand? Will you still be there? Even though we've got a fight Will you still look in my eyes? In the good times and the bad For real, I thought all of this was to get our attention. It is. Because I hear you pray for her with that season. You promised her forever. And to be frank, I think now is the time for you to go get your forever. Dad. Going out this evening? Going on a date with a friend. Don't tell me it's with Dave. 
Because I saw him some days ago. Oh, not at all. No, it's a friend I met online. <laughs> He's in town and he suggested we have dinner. Since I'm free, I said yes. It's barely five months. <sighs> Enough reason for me to move on. Besides, I just want to have fun. stories like love is a bed of roses but it takes just more than wishes to make it come true to make it come true when it comes to reality it's not the same like you see in movies it's gonna take just more than magic if the feeling is true if the feeling is true if this is really gonna work, you gotta know that love is not enough. Are you ready for the scars? I wanna know. Will you still be there when the days turn into nights? When it's dark and no more lights? Will you keep holding my hand? Will you still be there. Even though we've got a fight, we still look in my eyes in the good times and the bad. So this is it. What do you think? Mm. I love this one. The details. I love it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Check this one out. What about this? Nice, but I prefer this one. Okay. Don't care. Let me just call the woman okay. and tell her. Mm. The number is not connecting. Okay, try again. What's wrong with this lady? Our number is never connecting. I don't understand. What kind of businesswoman is she? What? 
You still haven't told me how your date went. <clears throat> this is the second time. Mm -hmm. And the blank guy didn't show up. <sighs> I just think it's Dave again. Dave? Mm -hmm. Because he's the only one that has so much money to lavish. Ask someone on a date and not show up. Yet, order for expensive stuff. Like, I don't get. How sure are you that it's him? Because he called me out of the blues with a strange number. Okay. The same day he shows up at my dad's place. Three days later, someone DM'd me to go out with him for dinner. Um, well, um, I don't know what to say, but I think, um, you know Dave, I mean, you should. Hi! Hello. How are you? I'm good. Oh. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm fine, as you can see. Yes, I... I... Uh, please, can you excuse us? We are busy. Sure. <laughs> Another time. Sure. You didn't have to do that. What was I supposed to do? Smile at him for flaunting her everywhere, all over in my face. Well, if I can remember correctly, he granted your wish. He begged you and you said your mind was made up. As you can see, he has moved on. If you ask me, I will say you should do the same. Mm. What's wrong with this guy? Who? Is it not that Essie guy or whatever he calls himself? Oh. He said we should meet for the last time, that he's sorry, uh. and that his table is clear. Oh, well, if you ask me, I'll say you should go after all. I mean, ah, you've been speaking to this guy for God knows how long. Go and put a face to the voice. Go and have an idea of who you've been speaking to. If I find out that it's Dave, mm -hmm. I'll give him a piece of my mind. <laughs> Amazing. Why are you laughing? It's not funny. Oh my, oh my sorry. I'm so sorry, my darling. She's really beautiful. So beautiful. Like, amazing. What? She's all She's not. Do, do, do. Someone? Yeah, I have a date. Oh, <laughs> you seem really excited. I am excited. Okay. So tell me, um, is he? Yes. I have a date, and trust me, having you around close to me is the last thing I need right now. <laughs> okay. Waiter. <clears throat> Waiter, uh, can I have a bottle of red wine and two glasses? What? What are you doing? I have a date. I know. I'm just keeping you busy while you wait for him. I mean, what kind of man keeps a lady waiting? So tell me, let's just say we're meeting for the first time. The name is Obilo. Jesse Obilo. Omo Lambert. Nice. Nice to meet you. Uh, oh, thank you very much. Thank you. So, um, tell me about you. No. First. Well, I'm single, don't mind before. I tried to save the rest of my marriage, but it seems my wife had already made up her mind. How about you? I'm waiting, you know. Like you, I'm a divorcee. Oh. So, um, would you say that your marriage failed because there was no communication, love and affection? 
Because those are the things my wife listed. But trust me, I tried all I could. I gave her all the love in me without holding back. The painful thing is I still love her. And she will never know the depth of love I have for her. I trusted her. I guess I wasn't doing something right. Maybe I didn't love her the way she wanted. I'm sorry. I guess... I guess she didn't realize you're such a good man. What if I told you she regrets everything that happened? But unfortunately, she can't turn back the hands of time. My, my marriage didn't work out because my husband didn't communicate and respect me enough. But looking at it now, I think I didn't, I didn't care enough to listen to him. So, um, what if he wants? To, what if he wants to right the wrong from your past marriage? What if he wants to communicate? What if he wants to show you love and affection? What if he wants to be more intimate? Would you listen? Jess, please, I, I should go. You have a, you have a date. I'm here waiting for someone who is obviously standing me up again. I need to go. All the things you said to Essay. The regrets. Um, wait, hold on. How did you know about? Because I am Essay. I took out the J's. Omar, I miss you. I want you to come back home. Um. Oh, um. Ali? Hi. I'm Annie. It's Corazon.
I hear a lot of stories Like love is a bed of roses But it takes just more than wishes To make it come true To make it come true When it comes to reality It's not the same like you see in movies It's gonna take just more than magic If the feeling is true If the feeling is true If this is really gonna work You gotta know that love is not enough Are you ready for the scars? I wanna know Will you still be there? When the days turn into nights When it's dark and no more lights Will you keep holding my hand? Even though we've got a fight We still look in my eyes In the good times and the bad Just when